Okay, I'm getting ready to work uh, on the back of the pattern. It says in um, spot number one, the opening of the mitten. And basically what I need to do is remove the waist yarn and put, to put it on two different DPNs. One will be the purpose. Well, you can read the directions. One's for one purpose and one's for the other. Um, before I get into that totally, I just wanted to make a remark regarding the yarn usage here, in case anybody was wondering where they were or looking ahead. Um, and I wrote it down. This is the yarn weight, or well, actually the gluten, the, the knitted gluten weight was 2.2, so I want to make sure everything was adding up to 6.0. All right, so um, the remaining brown was 1.6 ounces, and it was a 3 ounce skein. So I used 1.4 ounces and the remaining yellow is 2.2. So you can see you're definitely using more brown here um, than I am yellow, which is my contrast in color. Um, and plus two, it's like if I measure it now, whatever, in the future I'll know if I want to make another pair in different colors and whatever. Okay, now I started this and got very confused. <laughs> And I was going to try and put my little green yarn back in there so that I could show you where I started. And I decided that that was not going to happen. So, alright. And I don't know really why I get confused. It was the very first stitch over here that confused me for some reason. I don't know why. And then, of course, you know, with the woven yarn, it starts kind of playing with your mind a little bit. Okay, but now that I have my brain wrapped around it, I'm going to show you what to do. Alright. What we want to do is pull this green yarn out as we go along. So we're going to put our DPNs into the stitches and then remove the green. Now you can remove it as you go along, which would probably be the easiest way to do it. So on the bottom one, what I'm going to do is I'm picking up the front leg of each stitch. And if you're not sure what the legs are, um, on knittinghelp.com there's a pretty good tutorial and I think it's under um, fixing mistakes is where I think um, Amy describes what stitches really look like. Okay, so at any rate all you need to know is that you need to run your needle through and you're going to pick up that front leg and again, this one, I'm going to pick up this leg right here. I'm trying to hold that really still so you can see. Pick it up. See how I did that? And then, oops, pick it up. Trying not to splice it. Obviously, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. You can use your fingers as much as you want here. Um, which I might have to do for that brown one. Okay, anyway. Well, I'm not going to catch that one, so I'm just going to leave it right there. All right. So then, and then on the top one, I'm going to do the same thing. And I don't know, like I said, I'm not sure why it confused me on the front. I mean, that very first stitch there with the green. Alright, so I'm going for this leg and that leg that's almost hidden back there, and that leg and that leg. So over here we can see without the DPN there, 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 that one. Okay. So, I'm going to pick it up, and pick it up, and pick it up. That looks good for now. And then just undo the green. Now, the green actually is pretty long, so I don't need it anymore. It's just a piece of scrap yarn. So I'm just going to cut it off. Make my draw. As I draw it through there, it'll be a lot easier. Ah, oh, see how easy that is. And obviously, um, I would suggest putting the, the stitches onto the DPN before pulling your waist yarn out. Um, otherwise, the violent pull and all those extra stitches that you have going on there might cause a lot of problems with um, losing stitches. I'm going to leave that last one on there just so I hold it kind of in place a little bit. And then I'll just go along and I'll pick up a few more. About like four maybe. And then pick them up on the bottom again. They want that one.
Yeah, well, you're getting the idea here. I think I got it. Actually, I think I might have split that one. I can always fix it when I go back, when I go to knit. Okay, and then just keep working your way across doing that. And like I said, as that green yarn gets too long and hard to pull out, just cut it off. And um, when I come back, I will have had, hopefully, 27 stitches on each needle.